Greetings and salutations. This is Johnny Mac of Upper Metal Plus. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. Uh, and we just got a collection update this time. A uh, bit of everything CDs, records, um, 7 inch and 12 inch for the change. Um, got a tape as well. And a bit of everything. First of all, look at this cool t shirt. Finally got me long sleeve dry cough. Um, ordered it and it when it came through it had a little note on it that says cheers John, Merry Christmas Andy. So cheers buddy, nice stuff. Um, I'd like to give a quick shout out to um, Mark G with C as well. Uh, as he well, I had a thing on Bandcamp saying that they were putting the price of these long sleeve dry cough t shirts down and he Noticed that I'd uh, said that I was after one and he sent me a quick message on um, Instagram saying, Hey dude, they've, uh, if you're still after the long sleeve dry cough, they've got them on sale. So, cheers buddy. Good shout. Right, so, cool stuff first. Well, it's all cool stuff, obviously. Um, one of the, my grail things I've been after for a while. Finally managed to get hold of Grave Grooves. Eternal Lot 7 inch. Um on Fallen Temple, I think. But yeah, I've been after this for a while. Uh, managed to get it on... Yeah, there's the covers. Actually, oh, it's been sold out a lot of places for a lot of... Yeah, so you get your cool sticker with it. Um, lyrics and all the gubbins. I think it's just black, isn't it? Call it sickening deeds, awesome stuff. The first uh, release, physical release by these guys, as far as I'm aware. So, it's so uh, one of the ones I didn't have. So, I'm so chuffed to get it. Um, I actually got it off off Discogs, and the person selling had the name Everlasting Spew. So, I don't know if it was a, the actual record label themselves that had uh, copies and spare ones or whatever, but yeah, so I've got it for a decent price. I was more than happy to have that bad boy. Next up, um, gonna jump over to Germany. Um, in a previous update, I mentioned this band, uh, Minnenfeld, German belt thrower worship. Um, Liam Death Doom Metal had turned me on to him. He did a bit about him, and he, he likes his tanks, and they had tanks on the, the cover and stuff. So um, I noticed they were bringing out um, an EP called Night Night, which is this. So come on, get out there. It's got a little Ubi on it, which is always cool. That's an Ubi strip, don't we kids? Uh, yeah, Night Night. Very cool. Um, well, it sheets need two tracks. Like they and um, the Sea of Madness. Uh, this is really cool as well. I don't know if it'll show up, but so we've got one side is the two songs, and the other side probably won't show up. But it's uh, one of these engraved things. Uh, the light will hit it just right. Maybe, maybe we won't. And um, it's uh, it's like a dagger. Oh no, it's that way. Huh, there you go. I don't know if it's a bay not or a dagger with a like a, a skull. I don't know. I think it's a helmet, because they're obviously a uh, war obsessed. Very good. Um I said more about through a worship really. It's still got uh, it's, it's uh it's got the the old um samples or whatever from proper broadcasts from from the war. So yeah, it's, it's a, a radiogram or whatever they called them back in the day. Wireless. My dad used to call it a wireless. That's some cotton socks. So yeah. Um, oh shit. Ooh, look, my beauty strip. That'll teach me. Don't do it on bloody camera. Right, I'll put that down and do that when I'm concentrating. <laughs> Mine has to put some blue on it. Uh, so yeah, so I pre-ordered it and it came with, oddly, two 
bullet casings. Um, bronze bullet casings, which is quite odd and weird. So they also put my camera miles away. Yeah. Can't, can't show you anything. I'm not going to see any of this shit. That'll teach me. Can't be all doing it again now. Getting late. Right, also a little pin badge. I need long arms, don't I? A little pin badge that says Minnenfeld as well. The logo. And um, a couple of stickers. The record label is these guys. Lincoln Thropic Chance. So yeah, a couple of their stickers. Um, a couple of other bands, I think, on the label. It's quite smart. Looks like a big one that looks like an actual album cover. And then well as well. And their stuff, so that's all good. Uh, got that from their label, I think. Uh, they may still have some on, on there or on their band camp or something like that, I'm not sure. Depends on that. Lose anything. Neat. Uh, have I actually put any notes about it? I thought we had done. There we go. What have we got? Uh, yeah, Minnenfeld. It's got a blocked end into it. Uh, atmospheric and all that. Bolt thrower, chunky, liffy, Germany. Uh, many head bangy. Heavy death metal. Nice blasty drums. World War One Lady of cast. Yeah, covered the lot. Brilliant. Right, next up. Who should we go for? Uh, oh, we'll do a tape. Oh, cassette. Right. This is, I've seen a few people show this baby. This is the Pulsive Mass with their Conjure Apocalyptic. Ooh, that pestilence. Did I actually write it down? No, oh, I put that in. Okay, Conjure Apocalyptic Pestilence. Demo 2021. It's proper old school. Look at that. It's even done in like a Sharpie. A side, B side. Look at that. I haven't even bothered winding it to the end. Two different sides. Two tracks on one, two tracks on the other. Uh, one man band from Gothenburg. Um, what's the dude called? Uh, Patrick. I think it's Patrick Necrotic. There we go. Yeah. Patrick Necrotic. Um, now I know uh, Metal Miners has got, had one of these and these was number 31 and he asked me what number mine was so I can't tell if it says 28 or 29 because I'm an old blind bastard but if you can see there it looks like an 8 or a 9 it could be either so there you go but yeah this is awesome stuff um, this is proper just old school death metal it's very good yeah um, I don't know if there's any left if there's Go and get him. Um, Patrick has got his, it's his own record label that this is on. Um, there we go, I've got a fly for them. There we go. Noise Horde Productions. So that's a fly for them. So it's a, he's even got his own record company. No limits to the dude. But yeah, this is awesome. Brilliant stuff. So yeah, it's a uh, repulsive mass. Um, you can't get it on Bandcamp or anything, which is why when I was looking on my Bandcamp to listen to it, um, it's not there, because I can get it from there. I got collect from Noise Horde Productions. And you can too, hopefully. Well, I'll say there's only 50 of these, so you might, might be lucky, you might not be. Hey, next up. What have we done? We've done some of that, done some of that. Oh, tell you what we'll do. Last time I did a black metal collection only update and um, this should have been in it but it came after I did it so this is Ethereal Shroud with Trisigon 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 I think I love that bloody artwork it's the dogs in it look at that well, as you can see four tracks uh, it's one of these things where if you got it off band camp uh, the digital version is only the three tracks and this is the physical's got the bonus track of lanterns on it um, this is black metal but it's more it's just, that artwork is just excellent I love it it's uh, sort of epic almost doomy black metal 
Um, almost funeral do me as well. That this it's there's like four songs. And I stuck it in my CD player and it said like I don't know fucking seventy seven minutes. And it's like nah, I can't be like there's probably a load of like gap in between the last two song the last song. Uh, no, it's like I made a note of it. Uh, first track twenty eight minutes. And it's, it is proper epic. This is epic. Blackened doom or whatever you want to call it. The, the vocals are pure black metal. Uh, it's got loads of chants and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Chasmal Fires, track one. 28 minutes. Oh my word. And it's got everything. Yeah, I've got a nice intro and all that. Uh, apparently these are um, from the UK and they're anti fascist black doom. A uh, single dude called Joseph, I think he's got some other people helping him doing a few bits and bobs, but it's essentially he, he's done the majority of the stuff on all the stuff on his band. So, yeah, this is uh, this is brilliant, really, really good. Love it. Love it. Uh, I have ordered another of the previous, uh, like a the mastered version of a, one of the older ones, but that hasn't come yet. I knew this one turned up. All right, what we got next? Um, oh, let's have some Death Thrash. I it from. Files. There we go. Uh, you've probably heard of these guys. It took me a while to get into them. Aeon's Abyss from Australia. This is their 2019 uh, Impenitent, I think. And also, I bought the, the two of them together. This is the current one. This is the 2021 um, Terra Manifest, which is really cool. Um, all the, the tracks are based on tarot cards and um, my favourite one being um, the Ace of Staves which is like a vampire motorhead obviously and now these are great um, and a little note from them um, which is very cool they've got their own little post-it note type things most excellent a great Christmas gift that uh, and they put on a sent it on the 8th of the 11th it took a bad month to come to come Come through some that month, four, five, six weeks maybe. Uh, hi John, many thanks for the support and hope you enjoy the CDs. Steve and Paul on the back, but um, we have lots of great supporters in the UK. You guys over there know your metal very nicely. We certainly do. Uh, and he's put in, I've chucked in a few stickers for you as well. Top blokes. So there do be the stickers. Have you probably even got the night without? A couple of stickers, which is always nice. So yeah. Uh, this new one is most excellent. I've heard a bunch of those new CD cases, the knobbly bits in the middle are all duped. So, yeah, it's the CD itself. Yeah. Handsome gentleman. Oh, what's that in there? Oh, look at that. What the hell? I've got, I, I didn't even notice. They shoved in a, a, one of the little tarot cards as well. Ah, oh, cheers, lads. Good, cool. Please, I didn't look at the booklet when I played it. So, yeah. That one's The Magician. The first track. Third track. There we go. So yeah, they, they did a... If you pre-ordered the, the album, you, you could actually get a load of tarot cards. That have all of the tarot cards, but you, I didn't. But they chucked one into the booklet, which is nice. Which is a cool little booklet as well. There you go. So yeah, if you like... Uh, yeah, uh, Black and Thrash, I think you could probably call them. Uh, black and Death, maybe. Yeah, no, they are quite thrashy. Thrashy, deathy. Vocals are almost black. Look very guttural, but I'd say black. Yeah, they're really good. It's, um, I'm very pleased with them. Both albums are great. This one is actually better than the last one, but it doesn't mean you don't get the other one. Uh, if they're still doing the two for the good price, I, I suggest you get them, because they really sound blokes. And yeah, it's good stuff. Um, the vocals, yeah, yeah, the black metal vocals, that's what I thought. Uh, yeah. So, right, next up. Everybody loves this. Everybody's been going on about this. This is Body Asphyxiation Science with Space Adaptation Syndrome. And yeah, before you say, this is the CD because all the other bloody metal YouTubers bought the freaking tape, so I couldn't get the tape. It's all sold out. Bar stewards. So yeah, this is the Cudder version of it. Um, Rain Child of One, Joss Allen. 
tell this didn't all that nice dude. Very talented. Does loads of guitar stuff. <coughs> Very well indeed. Um, so this has got Jason Barker on vocals and it looks like he um, he did the mixing and mastering as well. There's the two dudes. Uh, now I've been reliably, the, the, the yeah that as well, I've been told that um, they've actually got a new vocalist now and it is uh, <coughs> none other than the person that did this drawing here. Look, no one has Lotting Head, which I'm sure all you death metal fans will know loads of his stuff. So yeah, I think he did the logo for Melanie Loves Death Metal as well and various other things. So yeah, he is now going to be singing, because he's got his own death metal band anyway. Uh, so he's singing with these. And they've just... <coughs> I knew should have got a drink. They've just uh, put up a song on Bandcamp with him singing on it, I believe. Which is like a teaser for the... There's nothing available to touch the purchase yet but this is this is awesome this is very very cool um it's uh Pluto cave productions say 2020 three tracks just crushing horrible nasty death metal that we all love <coughs> uh, evil death metal uh, dying here. right so that's that yep yeah, got them all right now for something completely mental i saw um uh, Death Doom Metalhead Liam on his um, <coughs> Instagram. He showed off um, a CD by a band called ATVM. Um, so I thought, I quite like the look of that. So uh, it came. I ordered the CD, which is called Famine Puted Fucking Endless or something like that. See, so, yeah, I'm quite a few years endless, so. Hopefully some of you guys are into it. Um, but came in the Jiffy bag. And the Jiffy bag had lots of scores like that all over it. So obviously they're very arty. So it came like this inside the Jiffy. Got a sweet little handwritten note. Thank you for your order. Your support is appreciated. Which always cool. Not a problem, boys. Um, obviously, people know I like a sticker. There's the new logo. In fact, I like this so good, I may or may not have bought a pair of joggers. Don't tell the messes. Um, this do be the CD. As you can see, it looks a bit... But there might be a little bit of a, like a cross between an early Napalm Death cover and Laughing by the Animator. I think it's probably the colours. Okay. So, yeah, it's just a bit, a bit mental. Lots of a uh, cool, arty, really metally stuff on here. And a sweet booklet with loads of things and stuff in it. That's what it's called. Famine, Putrid, and fucking Endless. Yeah, very good. Awesome stuff. What's it sound like? Uh, yeah. I pick a style of metal and they do it, basically. Let's have a look. I've done some notes. Not that it'll make any sense to you guys. Um, <clears throat> I've got words such as extreme, progressive, death metal, thrash metal, experimental, very heavy, fast, slow. Um, I put batshit crazy, but it's just awesome. It really is good. Guitar works stunning on it. It's almost like trashy guitar crossover the, and then it goes into death metal vocals, and, and it's just, it's just, it's mad and brilliant all the same. And there's nothing out. Like like it out there. This came out this year. I just suggest you get on the bank and buy it. Just ace. And they're nice people. So um, next up, <clears throat> got lots of stuff here. Uh, should we do the CDs? Yeah, last last of the CDs. Um, take this out because I know the glare's a bugger. Cheers. My contender of album of the year 
This is onto others with strength. Well, uh, onto others used to be called Idle Hands, and I quite like the sound of them, but never bought anything by them. And now I wish I did, because if you want to buy the Idle Hands stuff, it's all cost an absolute fortune. I thought I found, uh, I think the last album, I think it was called Mono or something like that, and I quite fancied it um, when they got into a new record label. Uh, well, no more than now, but for, for the last album. Somebody was selling it, at, uh, at, they were selling on Bandcamp, and, and I thought, oh, we'll be all right with that, I'll, I'll not bother. And then I, a lot of people have been putting this on the end list, and I thought, oh, well, maybe it's quite good. So I checked it out, and it's fucking stunning. Um, sounds like <clears throat> it's very gothic in that if you take Sisters of Mercy's vision thing, which is the chunky guitar you one. And you add in vocals that sound like this album, the Dan Phantasmagoria, which is when they'd moved over from punk and started to do 80s pop goth. It's not metal, but it's definitely rock music. Very good sing along -y and that. But it's all them. Um, and then you've got almost like a. <sighs> thrashy. Not, not a thrashy. And I can't really say they're. They do metal either because they, they don't certainly don't sound like they've got a little bit of that sort of you know Paradise Lost, Anathema, um, My Dying Bride type vibe to them. In that, uh, especially some of the the more commercially sounding ones, uh, it's it's quite hard to explain, and I'm not really good at this stuff. Um, but this is just really good. And, and um, I've, I've, I haven't had it long, and, and I love it lots. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just like uh, a lot, uh, sort of the dam trying to do a heavy metal album, and it works. Uh, and then they go, I'll tell you what, let's put a bit of Sisters of Mercy in there, and a few other eighties gothic bands, uh, or in, almost indie. Well, it, it's just you need to hear it. It just works so bloody well. I said last year my album of the year was Paradise Lost, Obsidian, and that because that reminded me of a, a just a certain time, and this does the same thing. Very very good, awesome, fully recommended. Right, I've got some bits and bobs of vinyl which I'm just going to whiz through. Um, this is um, Ian Miles' Degradation, Death, Decay. I'll take it out of there. Now, uh, you, Chanta, you probably don't know who Ian Miles is. Um, but he's the guitarist from UK Gothic Punk Horror Band? Emo Punk Horror Band? Pop Punk? I don't know what you call him. Creeper. He's a guitarist from Creeper. Uh, and this doesn't really sound like Creeper. Because solo albums, solo albums never sound like the other band, otherwise there's no point doing a miss it. So yeah, this is very, very good. It's um, acoustic. It sounds like sort of 80s version of guitarist singer songwriter type things, but more, as I said, more indie, but uh, like Nicky Suddenly, that sort of, you know, uh, Johnny Thunders almost sort of vibe. It, it's, 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 it's like with a bit of I don't know, Morrissey almost type, that sort of Smith's type sound to it. It's quite depressing. Um, like me death doom i love a bit depressing so yeah it, it's very very good slightly different not the usual stuff not metal at all but bloody great okay next up Ooh, moving on to some sleazy rock and roll sleaze metal glam metal call what you want this is 2019 la guns is devil you know um i'm not gonna get it out it's just a it's just plain black black vinyl but i picked it up because uh, I quite like, I think it was the last piece or the final piece or some sort of piece. Yeah, like 2017, 18, something like that. This is the 2019 one, but it was all right. And it's excellent. It's almost back to the old stuff. Um, I heard the one that came out in 2020, gone to, I think it was um, Ben Von Doom, said it was a shite. So I've not bothered with that one, but I did pick up 2020's ones. Current album, check it past. Wait for it to come in. I think a few people might have shown it off. There you go, very cool. We like a bit of coloured vinyl, so this is like a 
white marble sort of look. It's very nice. Uh, this is awesome. It's like um, the 80s stuff, to be honest. Uh, Phil Lewis's voice is brilliant. Um, Tracy Gunn's guitar work is great. Uh, I'm not sure if, the, if there's any of the other original members in there. Probably not, but it might be. Can say. Knows. Yeah, probably does. But yeah, sorry guys, I don't know who's got members, but this is very good. I saw them live at a hard rock hell a few years ago. They were great. I think it was just after they come back, so it's probably around the um, thingy album. But yeah, very, very good. Uh, it's up there with is it Cocked and Loaded and um, first one. Yeah. Yeah, first one after we had, there we go. That's the first one. Same sort of cover as well. That's a classic. This is very good as well. Uh, next up, we're going to Sweden for a new album by The Electric Boys. Um, this is a lot like their earlier stuff, to be honest, and it's great. It's still funky, sleazy, rock and rolly, bit of blues in there. Is it? Um, yes, it's black vinyl. Yeah. yeah, it's just a great rock and roll record. And if you're into that sort of stuff, then uh, oh, what's that in there? What's that in there? Come on, mate. Come. There we go. Like a packing sheet because it's supposed to be like in the case, which is good. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great little album. Um, I saw somebody sharing it on the Instagram and thought, oh, are they still going? I checked out a couple of tracks and thought, I don't mind that. I'll have some of that. Right, let's change the pace totally. Um, new lockup album. Presuming you all are aware of lockup. Um, this is on each of the guys. Cool, they vinyl. Um, this is obviously share, uh, like a Grindcore Supergroup as such. Uh, it's one of, another of Shane M. M. B. These offshoot bands. Uh, and we've got. Let's have a look. Yeah, Shane M. B. Uh, got Thomas Lindbergh on vocals, dude from At the Gates, and Kevin Sharp as well from The Little Truth. So. You've got a couple of nice dual vocals on there that contrast well. But yeah, it's, a, it's just an awesome, if you like your grindcore, uh, death grind. Yeah, very, very good. Uh, God, I can't do anything these days. Uh, what time is it? Well, it's of course bloody 12, no wonder. Anyway, I'll try and get this done before Christmas Eve, but I'm not going to do it, am I? Right, next up. This uh, just come in recently because everybody's been talking about it for a long time. This is the wonderful Enforced. Kilgrid? Yeah, Kilgrid Enforced. Uh, didn't bother making any notes on this because it's just awesome. So, black wax. Um, this is some um, death thrash, I suppose you'd call it. Thrash music with death metal vocals. And flipping jolly smashing great. Really, really good. Um, Fast and Furious, just like a, I don't know, I said, cross over the thrashing death metal. Oh, I can't do anything, I give up. Right, next. This is Frozen Soul, Clip Device, you all know this. This is beyond a lot of people's um, year end list. Finally managed to find a copy of it for a decent price. These are, of course, Century Media's Darlings. Look at that, very nice. Um, and apparently, some people have been slagging off because they sound like Bolt Thrower. Why the hell would you do that? Yes, they do sound a lot like Bolt Thrower. Yes, they've got a female bass player. Yes, it's fucking brilliant. So, yeah, just get it. It's peace. Are we on? Oh, we're nearly done. Cousin Bennett. Right. A couple more. 
when I fall asleep. Um, right, now that one first, and then that one. See quite a few other people posting this up. This is obviously the um, split between um, Pedionosis and Wolf Lurch. I love Wolf Lurch. Um, this is Calgary Records and fucking Kill. Uh, my it's out of one hundred and two, and mine's number thirty nine. Minted edition. And that from Calgary. Some stuff. Some more stuff. You want to see the vinyl? I'll show you the vinyl. So this is a sort of clear, whitey clear bone or whatever with a little bit of black in it. Very nice. Uh, and the last thing I've got to show. It's the first album I've, uh, of anything that anything I've bought that is classed as Dungeon Sin. Who would have thought? Johnny Max buying Dungeon Sin. What's the world coming to? Um, to be honest, I bought it by mistake. But anyway, we'll blush over that. Yeah, I thought it was black metal. <laughs> I got it from the same um, when I bought. Majority of black metal off. Um, oh god, Death Cult. I, I quite like the sound of Maiden Hair. By no Maiden Hair the band, sorry. And the album's called Some Manied. Yeah, Some Manied. Maiden Hair. Cool little, uh, I like that. That's the, there we go. Maiden hair of England over here, of course. I'm going to say the, the UK dungeon synth band, and it's all right, it's not bad. All well, these days, I might put it on and have it on in the back then while I'm doing these things. But yeah, it's good. Whether I'll buy some more, I don't know, but yeah, I like it. Yeah, dungeon synth. Tell me if these are a good. Dungeons and Band, or have I got what myself a dud? I like it. It's, it's, uh, I say it's quite cool to have one in the background when you're doing shit. So uh, there we go. That's my collection update. I think I've waffled for too long. Yeah, I'll do my year end list between Christmas and New Year. Um, you guys have a wonderful Christmas, holidays, whatever you celebrate. Just hope you have some time off. I'll see you soon.